will have the presentation of Brian's symbols of life. <coughs> Rose presents a rosary. Rose presents a rosary representing Grandad's faith. Grandad was a daily mass goer and was a regular visitor to Knock. Often with Nana, they would round up the grandkids for a day trip, something that holds very special memories to us all. Maya presents a Garda medal representing Grandad's career in Angarda Siakana. He was proud to have served his community as a Gerd, a job that fitted well with his caring nature. He always tried to help where help was needed. Kevin carries Grandad's for Manor Jersey, worn out many matches over the years, unfortunately with only limited success. <laughs> Grandad loved football and travelled far and wide to support Declan, Kieran and Gary in their playing days. Together with Nana, they supported for Manor and Monaghan wherever they played, often with us grandkids in tow for the day out. 
Jamie carries a photo of their home in Spain. The regular phone calls and weather reports from their house in Alicante made us jealous of their lovely lifestyle as we endured the Irish winters. They freely shared both their home and care in Spain with anybody who asked and loved to see us all enjoy our holidays there. Neve holds family photos representing Grandad's love and devotion to family. He kept diaries for the past 30 years in which he logged the achievements and happenings of those around him more than his own. It feels fitting that his last diary entry was a reminder of Nana's anniversary mass, an event which he must have had in mind months beforehand. Family meant everything to Grandad and if anyone ever needed some help or support, he was always there, without hesitation. His kindness had no limits. On behalf of Declan, Kieran, and Gary, I would like to thank you all for coming here today and for your support at this difficult time. Grando was born on the 30th of April, 1938. He had three older sisters, Bernadette, Sheila, and Noreen, and one younger brother, Seamus. They grew up on a small farm in County Fermanagh, close to the border of Manahan. His early years were spent farming and playing football. Opportunities in the 1950s were limited, and so in 1963, he joined the only police force he recognised, on Garda Síochána. He loved his job and loved storytelling, and new stories of his Garda exploits were still being revealed to us from his hospital bed up until three days before he passed away. Grandad Nana briefly lived in Carlingford before moving to Drogheda and then to Bettystown, making their final move to the Mill Road in 1989. They had three boys, born between 1965 and 1972. He spoke a lot about watching Declan, Kieran, and Gary playing football. He definitely saw their abilities through rose-tinted glasses, but he was so proud of them. Then the grandkids arrived, seven in total. Grando was always so good to us all. He continued to wear his rose-tinted glasses because in his eyes we could do no wrong. Although it was only recently that he conceded that I might now beat him in a foot race a feat I couldn't manage when we were both about 15 years younger. But time moved on, and as I'm sure most of you know, losing Nana three years ago was devastating for Grandad, and he found this time very difficult. He often explained how the greatest privilege he'd had in his life was being able to care for Nana in her time of need. He missed her so much, and in truth, he never truly recovered from her loss. He would still share stories of old, attend mass, obsess over GEA, and celebrate the milestones of those around him, but the impossibility of sharing these with Nana meant that these happy moments were all twinged with sadness and nostalgia. That being said, the love and support that he provided to family and friends throughout his life was repaid in shades during this time, something he and we really appreciated. He spent the past two months in the care of the staff of Our, lovely, of our Lady of Lords Hospital. Brenda had hoped that he would recover enough to return home, but unfortunately, that was not to be. Although he won't be coming home with us, his profound impact on all of us certainly will. I sat with Grandad this morning and had my last cup of tea with him. As I sat with him, I started to think about so many other great memories that I'd love to share. But as much as he loved storytelling, he hated a fuss. We are privileged to have had such a great Grandad, and we can take comfort in the fact that he is now where he always wanted to be, alongside Nana. To finish with the words of Seamus Heaney, whose writing Grandad loved, at a certain age, the light that you lived in is inhabited by the shades. I'm very conscious that people dear to me are alive in my imagination. These people are with me. It's just a stage of your life when the death of people doesn't banish them out of your consciousness. They're part of the light in your head. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I would like to welcome you all here today on this sad occasion as we, as we come to commend Brian to the Lord and to support his family at this sad time. To his sons Declan, Curran, and Gary, daughters-in-law Joanne and Anne, his grandchildren Neve and Neil, Kevin, Sean and Rose, and Maya and Jamie, and their mother Christina, brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, nephews, nieces, and all the extended family of relatives and friends, we offer our sincere condolences to you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mischievous Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Brian, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now we have the readings, the first and the second readings. I invite those who are doing the readings to come forward. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The virtuous man, though he did, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honourable, nor a number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's grey hairs. Untarnished life, this is ripe old age. He has sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade and the whirlwind of desire corrupts a simple heart. Coming to perfection in so short a while, he achieved a long life. His soul being pleasing to the Lord, he has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him. Yet people look on uncomprehending. It does not enter their heads that grace and mercy await the chosen of the Lord and protection his holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is longing for your peace near to you, my God. My soul is longing for your peace near to you my God Lord you know that my heart is not proud and my eyes are not lifted from the earth my soul is longing for your peace near to you my God lofty thoughts have never filled my mind far beyond my all ambitious deeds. My soul is longing for your peace near to you, my God. In your peace I have maintained my soul. I have kept my heart in your quiet peace. My soul is longing for your peace near to you, my God. As a child rests on its mother's knee, so I place my soul in your loving care. My soul is longing for your peace, near to you, my God. Israel, put all your hope in God. Place your trust in God, now forevermore. My soul is longing for your peace, near to you, my God. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers and sisters, about those who have died to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. 
God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Please stand to greet the gospel. <clears throat> Alleluia. Alleluia. Our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If they were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared your place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am you may be too. You know the way to the place I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> There are many rooms in my father's house. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared a place, I shall return to take you with me. Dear brothers and sisters, dear family of Brian, once more on behalf of Laytown and Mornington Parish, I would like to extend our sincere condolences to the members of Brian's family. I would like to assure you of our continued remembrance of Brian in our thoughts, prayers, and masses in the days, weeks, months, and even the years ahead. For whenever we gather together as a community of faith to celebrate the Eucharist, whether it is a, a simple liturgy during the week or a more solemn celebration on a Sunday, one thing we always do is to remember in a very special way our faithful departed and their families. Whenever we lose a person dear to us, a person who has played, played a significant role in our lives, we are flooded with all types of emotions. The first emotion we experience is sadness. Someone we love is no longer present with us and no matter what we do, we, we can't change that fact. We might also feel a sense of guilt None of us ever has a perfect relationship with a loved one. All these emotions and feelings are normal and are part of our grieving process. But as Catholics, we believe that people like Brian who leave this world as faithful followers of our Lord are with Jesus. Brian is now with Jesus, with his blessed mother and all the saints. Today we gather here to remember and celebrate the life of Brian, a devoted family man, a faithful soul, and a dedicated community servant. Brian's life was closely connected with his family. He shared 56 beautiful years of marriage with his beloved Anne, and together they raised three wonderful sons, Declan, Curran, and Gary. 
Family was the cornerstone of his world, and his love for his children and later his seven cherished grandchildren, Neve, Neil, Kevin, Sean, Rose, Maya, and Jamie, knew no bounds. He took immense pride in their achievements, and the time he spent with them brought him great joy. Brian's un unwavering faith was a guiding light throughout his life. He was a regular attendee of Mass here in Mornington, finding solace and strength in his spiritual beliefs. His strong faith not only anchored him, but also inspired those around him. In his professional life, Brian served the community as a guard, dedicating his time and efforts to ensuring the safety and well-being of others. He was stationed in Drogheda for much of his career and worked in Dublin when seconded to the GRA. This role suited his compassionate and social-minded spirit as he tirelessly worked to improve the welfare of Garda members across the country, leaving a positive and lasting impact on the community he served. Brian was not only a loving family man and a dedicated public servant, but also a true friend to many. He valued his close friendships, showing loyalty and care to those he held dear. Whenever someone needed a helping hand or a supported word, Brian was there demonstrating the depth of his kindness. As we remember Brian today, let us reflect on the love he shared with his family, the faith that sustained him, and the commitment he had for serving others. His memory will continue to inspire us to cherish our loved ones, nurture our faith, and extend our hands to support those in need, just as Brian did throughout his life. His legacy lives on in our hearts, reminding us of the power of love, faith, and service to others. He believed in God and trusted that God was with him. Dear brothers and sisters, near the end of Jesus' life on earth, he spoke to his disciples these very comforting words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. Many, many of us work very hard in life to build a house and make a home for ourselves and for our families. But no matter how hard we work, no matter how large or small our houses are, those structures are never our permanent home. The structures we build to live in are only temporary dwelling places. That reminds us of this. That reminds us that there is no final resting place in this world. We always will be people in waiting for our final resting place. What Jesus wants us to realize is that he is the only way to the place he is preparing for us. We live in the hope that when our earthly pilgrimage is done, we will be at home with God forever. Now as we continue to celebrate Brian's funeral mass, he is enjoying the fullness of God's presence and will continue to enjoy that fullness forever. Now we'll ask those who are doing the prayers of the faithful to come forward. Confident that God listened to our needs, we present our prayers and petitions in faith. We pray for Granda, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord Christ, Christ, hear, hear us. us. We pray for the family and friends of Grandad that they will be consoled in their grief by the Lord who kept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord Christ, Christ, hear us. We pray for all who cared for Grandad, especially the staff of Our Lady of Lords. May God reward them for their love and kindness to him. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord Christ, Christ, hear us. 
May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help those who mourn and be with us all in our time of need. Lord, hear us. All gracious, hear us. Granted, who fought the good fight, he finished the race, he kept faith. May he now receive from Christ the crown of eternal glory, which he won from us through his death and resurrection. Lord, hear us. All gracious, hear us. We pray for all our deceased relatives and friends. We pray especially for Nana, as well as granted sisters Bernadette, Noreen, Sheila, and his brother Seamus. May they rest in the peace of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Eternal God, we offer you our prayers. Open our hearts to listen to your word and our lips to proclaim it without fear. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now invite those who are bringing the gifts, the bread and the wine, which will be offered here on the altar. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Brian, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always endeavor to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for He is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the light of the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith <clears throat> Save us, Savior of the world Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free You Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Tom, our Bishop, and all the clergy and people. Remember your servant Brian, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, holy pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We memory to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and even him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <coughs> hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory Amen. yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Ecclesiastes, 
Christ done for in healing day God dacht a shin he Christ done weir he Christ done tisk in the end day go gas to shin oh Da galava Christ, ana harin. O vos go kriak, nia kriak ha kavos. I baras nangros, garami. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall softly on your fields and until we meet again may you keep safe in the gentle loving arms of God for everything there is a season a time for meeting a time to say goodbye in all things God is near always guiding your way may the road rise to meet you may the wind be at your back may the sun shine warm upon your face may the rain fall softly on your fields and until we meet again may you keep safe in the gentle loving arms of God may you keep safe in the gentle loving arms of God there's a time for remembering a time to recall the trials and the triumphs the fears and the falls there's a time to be grateful for the moment so blessed the jewels of a memory when love is our guest there is treasure in our fields there is treasure in our skies there is treasure in our dreaming from the soul to the eye for wherever we gather in the light of God's grace and for all whom we remember there will never be a place there's a time 
There's a promise of God that is written in the stars for all who may travel, no matter how far. God will be your companion each journey you make in the shadow of loved ones to lighten your way. There is treasure in our fields, there is treasure in our skies, there is treasure in our dreaming from the soul to the eye. For wherever we gather in the light of God's grace, and for all whom we remember, there will ever be a place. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Brian may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now we have the final accommodation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Brian. May our, our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him, when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul, present him to God. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you into the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul. <coughs> Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul. And to you, O Lord, commend the soul of Brian, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen.
Faithful is the Lord our King, let us all in glory sing, ever praise in song and word, holy, holy, holy Lord, holy Father God of might, throne Take our life, our strength, our love, King of earth and heaven above. Faithful is the Lord our King, let us all in glory sing, ever praise in song and word. Christ be near at either hand, Christ behind before me stand, Christ with me where'er I go, Christ around above below. Faithful is the Lord our King, let us all in glory sing. Ever praise in song and word, holy, holy, holy Lord. Holy Spirit, Lord of light, from the clear celestial height, come the Father of the poor, come with treasures which endure. Faithful is the Lord our King, let us all in glory sing, ever praise in song and word.